When do babies' eyes change color? If you are interested in finding out, keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified pediatric ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about kids' eyes, eye health, eye surgery, and eye makeup health. So if any of that interests you, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you can follow along and get these videos as soon as I make them. All right, this is probably the number one question I get in the office is, number one, what are the color of my child's eyes, especially if they are kind of an in-between color. So a lot of parents want me to examine them with all my magnification and give them a determination as to what color their kid's eyes are. And then really though, the most popular question is, will my baby's eye color change? And if so, when? Let's just break it down. So first, what determines your baby's eye color? Well, in the old days, scientists used to think that it was just one gene. You probably remember this from your high school genetics. We assumed you got one gene from your mom, one gene from your dad, and blue eyes were recessive, brown eyes were dominant, and there you go. So therefore, two parents with blue eyes could absolutely never create a child with brown eyes. But the thing is, that is not correct. And we've now found that eye color has a lot of different genes that contribute to it, not just one. So it's not just your parents' eye color that determines your color, but also the color of your extended family because all of those genes are coming from your entire family tree. And that's why sometimes two blue-eyed parents can make a brown-eyed child. And sometimes you might see a really unusual color in a family that's not been seen for generations. Okay, but let's get back to babies. Now, when babies are born, almost all of them have lighter irises than they will eventually have as an adult. The iris is the pigmented structure of the eye. It's what gives the eye color. So you might think, well, blue eyes then have blue pigment. Actually, it's the one time when there's absolutely no pigment. When someone has blue eyes, it's the lack of pigment and you get a lot of internal reflectivity and you're actually seeing the different layers of the collagen in the iris itself. So that's what reflects back as blue. All of the other eye colors, green, hazel, brown, they actually have pigment in the iris. And how much pigment you have in your iris is what is going to cause the difference in eye color. So brown eyes have more pigment. When babies are born, their melanocytes in the iris don't have much melanin. That is universal for all babies. So that's why even my children had very light gray eyes when they were born. They looked very, very pale. So of course, a lot of people want, oh, those gray eyes, they're so beautiful. I hope they stay. Unfortunately, most of the time they don't because what happens is that the natural light triggers melanin production. So when the baby is born and is out of the uterus and the dark womb-like environment, they are out in the bright sunlight or at least indirect sunlight from the windows, that sunlight will trigger the production of melanin and that melanin then creates the color and darkens over time. So that's why light eyes usually turn hazel or brown as babies get older. Now we used to think, again, a little bit of a change, that baby's eye color was set at age two. That usually if you were going to see it change, it would change within the first year of life, maybe up till age two. And if it doesn't change after that, then really the eye color is set. But again, a new study over at Stanford has shown that that's not quite accurate either. They followed 140 babies and they found that baby's eye color can change all the way up until age six. About 40% of the blue eyed babies did get darker by the time they were two, but a small number got darker even later. Most brown-eyed babies remained brown. So that does mean that about 60% of the blue-eyed babies stayed blue for the rest of their lifetime. So it's not all blue-eyed babies, of course, that turn dark, but there is a pretty good chance that even if your child has light eyes at birth, or even within the first few months, there is at least about a 40% chance they may darken over time. But I personally think absolutely every 
eye color is beautiful, especially in an adorable little baby, but it's just always nice to know. So I hope that clears it up. If you have any questions about eye color or if your own baby's eye color or your eye color turned significantly darker as you got older, I'd love to hear from you. Drop that in the comment below. And if you have any other questions you want answered, put those in too. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye for now.